Hey guys, it's me Sudra over here. Welcome back to another video. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about what's it like dating a Vietnamese woman. So, um, hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, the name of my channel is called uh, Sudra in Vietnam. I've been living over here in Vietnam for over seven years. I was an English teacher before for four years, and then I started my online business. I'm also a full-time YouTuber, so if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And I know that a lot of you are actually watching my content, but some of you have not yet subscribed to my channel. So do me a favor, it takes less than two seconds, hit the subscribe button, and that way you can support my work. So with that being said, um, let's just talk about this topic, you know, like what's it like dating a Vietnamese woman? But before I do that, let me just have a bit of my coffee in the morning. <clears throat> so I keep on getting this question asked quite frequently. Um, you know, like, uh, what's it like dating a Vietnamese woman? So you need to understand that um, if you're going to be dating a Vietnamese woman, um, she's going to be very... Um, you know, culturally different compared to what you may uh, have experienced if you are coming from the West or if you're from Europe. Uh, and definitely uh, Vietnamese women are also very different compared to women in Thailand. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually make a separate video about that. I'm going to do kind of a comparison video um, as to how Vietnamese women are different compared to um, women in Thailand. So Yes, um, you know, especially if you're coming from Thailand and if you're planning to come out here in Vietnam and if you're going to be out here for a month or if you're going to be taking, availing the 90-day e-visa and if you're going to be staying here for two to three months and if you're open to dating a Vietnamese woman, I'm just going to be straight up with you. It's going to be different compared to what you kind of experienced back in Thailand because um, it's kind of very easy to hook up with a Thai, with a Thai lady, with a Thai woman, because, you know, most of them, they're very, um, they're kind of very, West. they have that kind of a westernized mindset. So um, if you're going to be dating a Vietnamese woman over here, um, she's going to be very culturally different, uh, especially she's going to be very traditional. Um, majority of the Vietnamese women, I would say 99% of them, they're very family oriented. Uh, so family is very important for them. And it's kind of, a, it, it's also very important for them if they want to get an approval of them having a relationship with a foreign man. So, you know, you have to, as a foreigner, if you're dating a Vietnamese uh, girl, um, you have to win the trust of her family members. Uh, and of course, uh, there are certain expectations which a Vietnamese woman wants from a foreign man. Um, you know, firstly, it would be the um, politeness, good manners, uh, stability. You know, like, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, like most of the Vietnamese women, they also want to, uh, you know, they want to spend, uh, they want to have, they want to spend the rest of their life with a foreign man, especially if he is kind of financially stable. Uh, that is very important. And of course, um, also her family members, um, you know, have to know this, that is, is that person financially stable. Um, so that is kind of an important as important thing which you need to uh, take into consideration. You need to understand that when you come to Vietnam, um, you know, and if you are going to be out here for a couple of months, and if you are going to, if you want to date a Vietnamese woman, of course you um, you can start with these online dating apps. Like I recommend using um, Tinder. Um, and also using uh, Vietnam Cupid. Uh, I've been told Vietnam Cupid, the success rate is quite high. And of course, um, the quality of women um, uh, in Vietnam Cupid, majority of them, I would say 90, 95%, 95 or 97% of them, um, they're, they're actually looking for long-term relationships. They're looking for serious relationships. Um, 
Whereas in Tinder, yes, uh, most of them, they are looking for serious relationship, but you know, some of them are just kind of looking for a kind of a casual one nighter or something, but, or, or, you know, maybe, you know, you could find a, so yeah, it, it depends, you know, like, you know, um, but of course, if I, I presume that you're looking for a serious relationship, you're looking for a life partner, a long-term relationship, I think you should come with that mindset to Vietnam. If you're going to be kind of a player and, you know, then I don't think um, I don't think Vietnam would be the best country for you to come. Then, you know, you can you can venture into Thailand and, um, you know, do your escapades over there. But over here, majority of Vietnamese women, you know, they are looking for a serious relationship. They're looking for a life partner. And of course, most of them, they want to have a family because having a family, you know, having a, you know, having a family out here in Vietnam is very important for them. So yes, most of the young Vietnamese women, they want to settle up, settle down and, you know, they want to have some children and, you know, they're looking for stability. So, and of course, they're very traditionally, um, they're very culturally um, connected. And of course, like I said, um, they're very family oriented people. So, yeah, I mean, um, I would I would suggest if you're on these dating apps, um, don't rush. I, uh, you know, just take, it, it takes usually a week, a week or two, just have some slow, conver have some decent conversation. The Vietnamese women don't like to rush, okay, in a relationship. They they don't they you very seldom you'll find them. You know, okay, let's meet up for a coffee right now. You know, we just start chatting two days back, or we just ch chatted yesterday. Let's meet up for a coffee now. Chances are that she will tell you I'm busy this week. Um, you know, because she wants to take her time to get to know the foreign person, to get to know you, right? So you have to take it a bit slow. Um, compared to what you did maybe in Thailand. Because um, like I said, it's very easy to hook up with uh, women in with Thai. Uh, it's very easy to hook up in Thailand um, if you're looking for kind of short-term fun or, you know, if you want a quick dating scene or something. Here, um, the dating scene here in Vietnam is pretty slow. So you got to take your time. You know, you got to you got to communicate with her for a week or to, you know, just uh, keep the communication flowing, be very respectful and decent in the communication. Majority of the Vietnamese women, uh, when they date online, they don't, they're looking for well-mannered foreigners. They don't, they don't want to talk dirty or something like that. So if you have that kind of, if you, if you're feeling, if you're thinking that, you know, it's, it's nighttime, I had a round of beer and I'm kind of feeling uh, a bit drunk. I want to talk a bit dirty with her. Um, then it's not going to work out with you because her perception will change towards you then in a very negative way. So um, you have to take your time, uh, be very decent, be very polite, she, uh, you know, show your true self, be honest with her. Um, even if you're chatting with other women online, other Vietnamese women online, you know, she may ask you like, how many men, how many women are you chatting around with or something? You have to be, you just say that, yes, I'm communicating, but I'm not serious with anyone, you know, because, um, you know, they, they also want to know, like, you know, are you going to be the one, you know, because um, they, they want someone to to be with them, to, you know, to settle down out here in Vietnam and, you know, to start a family. So that's very important. I think the trend is gone where, you know, like, you know, some Vietnamese, you know, um, where you find Vietnamese women, they want to marry Westerners and, you know, they want to go to America and settle down over there or uh, it, it's hap I mean, it's very few you will find, but majority of them, they want to, <clears throat> they're looking for a foreign man to to settle up out here in Vietnam, to start a small family and, of course, to also um, help. Uh, like, you know, contribute financially as well. Um, and also, it's very important to to meet a Vietnamese uh, woman, uh, meet a Vietnamese girl who speaks English, right? If she's not, if she doesn't speak English and if she's just typing in Vietnamese uh, and if you don't know the language, it's, n it's not going to work in the long run. I, and I think it's going to be kind of um, very... Um, you know, you'll be having misunderstandings. So I highly recommend that you you date someone over here who speaks English or who has a decent level of English, you know, 
um, so that you know you have that communication um, uh, synchronization, right? Um, and it's very important to on these dating profiles, especially keep your keep your profile very clear. You know, uh, let them know what you're actually looking for, because you know most of the Vietnamese women they prefer honesty. They prefer an honest person, courteous. So um, you know because they can sniff from a mile away if something is wrong or not you know like they don't like liars they don't like cheats and of course they wouldn't like to accept a man a foreign man who has got a secret family back home somewhere else or something like that because you're not only getting engaged uh, with the Vietnamese girl in a relationship but you're also tying up her whole, whole family member right but she's not the only decision maker her family members I'm not to, I'm not talking about getting engaged with her in this in this respect i'm talking about if you want to have if you want to make her her girlfriend if you guys are going to start living together of course her family members are going to get to know about this and uh, and you know they're going to be looking at you like someone who is going to eventually marry their daughter and you know settle up have a um, have a bunch of kids or uh, you know whatever it is because that's the expectation so take it very slow um, you know, I would suggest, you know, like, you know, communicate with someone, communicate with the Vietnamese girl, like for a week for more than like around two weeks or something. Like second week, of course, meet up for a coffee, but take your time, you know, don't rush, you know, because like I said, you may say, you know, I'm busy this week, you know, um, so you got to take your time. And of course, the, you know, don't expect too much on your first date, the first date you meet her. You know, buy her a cup of coffee and, you know, just walk around. You know, maybe if you're in Ho Chi Minh City, just, oh, god damn fly, right? If you're in Ho Chi Minh City, um, you know, have, have take, treat her out or coffee and then, you know, go to the walking street or take her to a park, you know, and just uh, walk around getting to know each other. And, you know, just uh, be courteous and, um, you know, dip and see how it goes. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't think it would be right for you to um, hit the first base the first uh, on your first date. So you will have to have like two, three meetings with her so that she's comfortable finally giving herself to you to letting her guards down. So that way you can definitely find a very good Vietnamese woman for yourself. Because, uh, you know, if you're going to rush into something and, you know, she kind of she'll kind of feel like she like mentally tell to herself that this is not the guy for me. He's rushing into this. But, you know, uh, Vietnamese women, you know, they cannot directly say anything to you on your face, you know, but, you know, she may be very diplomatic or she may call it a day or something. But, you know, maybe, you know, but she's not going to meet you again. She's going to be like, you know, um, she's going to then turn the pages and she's going to say, you know, like, I didn't find that guy to be. I found that foreign man to be a bit pushy, um, you know, I didn't like about him because, you know, they're, like I said, they're not looking for fun. They're looking for, they're looking for a serious relationship. They're looking for a life partner, which majority of the women, uh, Vietnamese women, you will find on these online dating apps like Vietnam Cupid, Tinder. And of course, there are also offline ways of meeting a Vietnamese woman, you know, like if you're going to a park and, you know, like maybe you can find a Vietnamese girl sitting, uh, um, sitting or, you know, just reading a book or something. Or maybe if you go to a coffee shop, you know, like there's so many coffee shops here in Vietnam and, you know, like there's so many Vietnamese girls, you know, like and some of them, you know, like they're entrepreneurs, you know, they, they have you know, they have, you know, they have good, uh, they have iPhones, they have Mac Airs and everything, you know, they're pretty self-independent. So maybe, you know, you can just strike up a short conversation, have a decent conversation and, you know, see how it goes. You know, is she very receptive? Is she communicating with you? And, you know, exchange your contact details, you know, and especially with all these dating apps and also if you're meeting online, it's very uh, important for you to exchange her contact details and get her Zalo number that's equivalent to having a line in thailand where you know like usually you communicate with a vietnamese women online for like on a dating app for two three days or maybe two days tops and then just you know transfer the communication just exchange the number say that look 
you know, I'm not much in this on these dating apps. And, you know, I would like us to communicate a bit more faster. Do you have your contact number? I'll add you on Zalo. So, you know, but do this like after you communicate with her, like for two days or three days, you know, then she will comfortably give her Zalo number to you. Or maybe she will ask you, like, you know, do you have Zalo, you know? Um, and of course, um, you know, the way you know that a Vietnamese woman likes you is that when she starts sharing a lot of things with you, right? She's opening up to you or she's like sending you like the morning messages or she's, you know, like, what are you doing? You know, that's a very, you know, if she's writing, what are you doing? Um, chances are, you know, she, she, she really wants to, uh, she really wants to be with you. She really is finding you very interesting, you know, like an interesting person. Um, damn, my mic is batteries finish. All right. Let me just, I got to charge my mic mic. So anyway, so, uh, what I'm saying over here is, um, you know, these kind of things, you know, like uh, if she's really uh, sh sharing pictures of where she is or, you know, like she, she she's communicating with you or she's like just giving you a video call or something, you know, uh, you know, that way she, you know that she's kind of interested in you. But of course, like I said, if you're meeting her in person, um, you know, have two dates, you know, uh, one date, two date, but don't expect much, get to know her and you you know, don't, don't, don't sound too pushy, you know, uh, show to her that, you know, like you're a respectable foreigner and, you know, you take things chill, um, and see how the vibe is, you know, like, um, you know, just take it easy. Like sometimes, you know, like when you meet a Vietnamese women, you know, they, they come out a bit cold, you know, they pretend like, you know, they're not interested or they have that kind of, a you know, I don't care attitude or whatever, but, but don't, but this is kind of a, somebody told me like, this is kind of a, this is kind of a tactic which she plays, you know, she plays this kind of a test. She basically wants to test, you know, like how you are as a person, how you're going to be handling her and how you're going to be, uh, you know, breaking the walls and, you know, how you're going to be making the conversation very smooth and how you're going to be making her feel very comfortable, um, you know communicating with you so it's happened to me a few times you know like when i was in the dating game back in those days in vietnam when you know i used to meet some of these vietnamese women online um you know for a coffee you know they would come out a bit cold you know they would pretend they're not interested or maybe you know they come out they show up half an hour late um that's also something which you will you may encounter that she may come half an hour late because she wants, she, she may give you some BS excuse that, oh, she's in a traffic or something, but she actually wants to test you, you know, how you actually, um, you know, how you actually take that situation, you know. So, like I said, most of the Vietnamese women, they're looking for having a family. They're looking for long-term relationships. Um, it's not, it's not like in Thailand where, you know, you kind of have, having a kind of an open lifestyle. So here it's like very different. So, of course, you have to look into the social norms, expectations, um, family, and of course, uh, very important, um, you know, you have to also do certain romantic gestures, you know, like if you are giving her some gifts, uh, you know, I highly recommend you date a Vietnamese vo a woman who's working in an office who has a proper nine to five job or, you know, who, who's like, or, or maybe if she's an entrepreneur or, you know, I wouldn't recommend you dating a Vietnamese woman, you know, who's just uh, at home and, you know, and also I recommend you dating a Vietnamese woman, you know, who is, uh, you know, who's, who does not have children, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, like you can, you can, there are a lot of single mothers out here on these dating apps you know, they want to find, they want to find someone with whom they can, you know, they can, they can live with. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that they're looking for marrying again, but, you know, just to have that kind of a father status for her child. Um, you know, if you are, if you're open to that, then please go ahead. But uh, I mean, if I, if I were you, um, I would be preferably looking for a Vietnamese woman, you know, who doesn't have extra baggage you know, like, you know, she's like, she's uh, maybe a mature woman, you know, because I'm in my late 40s, but, um, you know, like a mature woman, you know, but she doesn't, you know, who doesn't have extra baggage, but, you know, that way, you know, I feel kind of a bit more comfortable. 
And of course, they do have financial expectations. Uh, you know, like, are you stable with your career? I mean, don't get me wrong. She's not going to be asking you how much money you got in your bank account and all that. But, um, you know, I'm just talking, I'm just letting you know, like, uh, what's it like dating a Vietnamese uh, woman? Uh, I'm not talking about, you know, how your life is going to be uh, after you get married to a Vietnamese woman, because uh, I'm not making a video on that. But, you know, also adaptability. She also wants to know, like, you know, do you like Vietnam? You know, are you, are you, are you, um, you know, are people liking, you know, like she may introduce you to her friends, you know, like, uh, are they getting along well with you? Because that's also very important. If she feels that, you know, you are showing that kind of aggression or microaggression or, you know, you know, or you're like having that kind of a short temper burst burst and you know you're not liking the people out here or you're not liking the city and you know of course uh, red marks right there you know if you say like you know oh, i don't like the city I, I don't like i don't like this trash problem i don't like yada 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 then she will feel like you know this foreigner does not like things in my country so why should i date this person um you know i prefer to be with a foreigner uh, who has blended with the vietnamese society who who, adm who adores um, you know, who, who, who accepts, who accepts the environment out here, you know, so that's what they're looking for. Very important, you know, and of course, patience is the game over here. Um, if you're patient, um, then definitely you will find a very good Vietnamese woman for yourself. You know, uh, you have to be patient. Um, like I said, dating out here is kind of slow in Vietnam. Don't expect it to be like in Thailand where, you know, you just chat with the Thai girl and, you know, the next thing you know is that in the evening you're hooking up and then, you know, hit you hit the first base and all that because the environment in Thailand is very different. The dating scene in Thailand is very different compared to dating scene in vietnam i i mean if i'm comparing especially if i'm comparing bangkok with ho chi minh city uh, and of course um women in the north here in vietnam in hanoi are more um are more elegant um you know they they like to take care of themselves and they're more cultural and you know but like i said you know um having a vietnamese girlfriend and you know uh, you know getting married to a vietnamese over here in vietnam is actually a blessing because uh, they're very caring people uh, they care about their partners about their spouse um you know and they you know they they will they accept you as um their long term they accept you uh, in their family that is very important you know, because um, getting accepted in a Vietnamese family is not easy. So, um, uh, you know, you may, you may, you know, and you have to play the game right. You know, you have to win the trust of her family members. You have to show good gesture to her family members. And of course, financial fi money is involved. You know, I mean, you have to do stuff, um, you know, you, uh, maybe, you know, like, you um, her parents are not financially stable or whatever, but you have to put in some money or something. But try to look for a Vietnamese woman, you know, who comes from a, a decent family, a good family. And definitely she should be working in the office or she's an entrepreneur or something like that. But don't hook up with a Vietnamese girl who doesn't have a job or, you know, she's just like stay at home, uh, whatever it is. And, um, you know, especially, you know, she should... You know, if you don't know the language, you know, try to date someone who speaks English or has decent English. I'm also going to give you a checklist on um, uh, on how to date a Vietnamese woman um, down in the description below. Um, so you can download that file and um, you can, uh, you know, that that is going to come handy for you. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to share it uh, on. I'm going to share it later today down in the description below. Let me know, um, let me know down in the comment section below, like, you know, are you dating a Vietnamese girl or are you having any challenges out here as an expat dating a Vietnamese girl or how has your experience been so far? Uh, you know, I would love to hear from you as a fellow expat because uh, that's very important for me to take feedback. 
Um, if you if you want to add something extra, just put down in the comment section below because uh, I know this is kind of a bit long form video which I'm making, but I want to provide value content to you. Um, if you like watching this video, make sure to like my video. And if you found this video to be informational, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is down in the description below. And if you are traveling around in Southeast Asia and you want to start a successful online business where, you know, you can make passive income online, like, you know, earning around like 500 US dollars per day. Uh, but of course, there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. Uh, but, you know, uh, learning from a proven mentor. Um, you know, setting up your online business step by step, then I highly recommend you check out the link down in the description below. Uh, with that being said, you guys have a great day. This was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.